This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight. And it's a Thursday edition of uh, the Ramble. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, we'll just uh, see what happens on tonight's show. It's always a mystery as to how many people will call or whether they'll call at all. But we do know we have at least one caller tonight because, um, let me see here. Let me get him set up here. What do I got to do? I got to do this first. I got to admit him. And then uh, I got to bring him up. Oh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Phil Meyer. Hello there, Phil. Wait a minute, you haven't connected. There you are. You connected your audio. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What? Well, I was going to say, man, this is far out. This is Thursday, man. I, I, I can't believe that it's, you know, Thursday. <laughs> yeah, well, we, I can't believe how much I accommodate you. Well, you don't have to. I, I just work cheap. Huh? I, you know, you don't have to, but I, I probably work cheaper than the other guys you have on. I, I would imagine uh, you do work cheaper than the rest of the people I have on. Hold on a second. I got to do something <laughs> here. So, oops, oops, people see see that? there. Uh, there's no magic here, folks. Look at that. See that? It comes in the huh? middle of the picture. Uh, I just wanted to do something so I could better run the show. But uh, ah, I all see. I did was make it worse, you know. So. Well, you know, it's Thursday. Things happen on Thursday. Wednesday's the safe zone. Uh, yeah. Well, you couldn't do Wednesday because you, you, you were out beating up on other photographers. Well, yeah, kind of. I'm, a, um, I'm the print chair for the, uh, for the club. You're the now. print chair? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, there's there's officers in the club and I'm in charge of uh, the prince. And, um, you know, lately he because did he have, did that uh, purple stuff, didn't he? Purple rain, things like that. Yeah. Like yeah. Prince, prince. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not that prince. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I, I just um, uh, am tasked with a bunch of duties that mm -hmm. uh have to do with everyone else being able to exhibit their prints. Mm -hmm. So the last year before um, uh, our uh, the COVID lockdowns, uh, I didn't have time to exhibit my own prints. I was so wrapped up in everybody else's. But yeah. uh, maybe this year things will change a little bit. So you know, how many I weeks? Bought a does, new camera. How many weeks does this go on? Uh, what well, it's forever. You mean from here on in every other week? I'm not. I'm gonna have to have oh, you on every Thursday. first and third Wednesday. Oh, okay. so I don't know. You can you can move me to to Tuesdays if you want. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I could move you to Tuesdays. That would be a very good idea on my part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or you know, you want to stick me on Thursdays? So all Thursdays, that's fine. Uh, you want me to rotate with the the, the club? I, I'm probably only going to do it for another year. Uh, it was a it was a two year term, and uh, but you usually have to find somebody to take well, quite over. Quite frankly, your if I were part of that photo club, I would try to impeach you. Well, oh, uh, why? Just to, just for the sake of impeaching you. Oh well, I'm I'm not the one that sets the skill levels. Mm -hmm. uh, there's there's a there's a group of judges that decide what level photographer you are, mm -hmm. and everybody starts as a uh, beginner mm -hmm. and so when you're a beginner you you wipe them all clean now i'm uh, an advanced so uh but they 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 need people in the different categories because once it's judged at our group mm -hmm. it goes to a 14 uh club council that judges them and uh, i've done well you know uh, what's called n n4c and these are 14 groups in Northern California. I'm sorry, this is getting too confusing for me. All right. And, and, and quite frankly, I'd be bored with the whole process. So. Well, okay. 
Hey, uh, what's this? Um, Jen Psaki is going to go to MSNBC. Yeah. Did you did you hear that job was available and you didn't apply for it? I did, but I uh, they, they they went with the uh, with the they went uh, with the with the girl with the chick. Yeah. yeah. They went with the with the skirt. The skirt. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, skirt. why are uh, the other reporters uh, livid over her uh, uh, possible uh, move to? Are uh, they? Well, that's that's what the uh, headline says. Where? Uh, Drudge. Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know, that's where you get it, your information. I don't know. I think I don't think they're upset by it at all. Why would they be upset by it? Beats me. Uh, you know, maybe uh, you know they're they usually to move usually up. a lot of press secretaries wind up doing broadcast jobs because that's yeah. really where they come from in the first place. Well, you know. uh, now, George Stephanopoulos, he was Clinton's, uh, but he wasn't a press secretary, was he? He was uh, mm. some other kind of advisor. He was, he, I think he was one of his advisors, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, so, you know, he wasn't press secretary, I don't think. Yeah, so he, he did pretty good, but I, I, what other press secretaries have really... Uh, well, you've got, you've got uh, what's-his-name over at Newsmax, uh, the guy who was uh, uh, Trump's press secretary for a while. Oh, Spicer, uh, now, Spicer, Sean Spicer. Spicer, yeah. 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 Now Newsmax, you have to sign up for, right? No, it's not. It's not free, it's like free. Uh, Fox. It, well, it's. I pay for cable, so it's not free, but uh, it comes yeah, with well, the cable system. What I mean is, uh, Fox has some other. You don't uh, have to subscribe to it. No. No. Okay. I know Fox has Fox Live or something. I don't know what they call Fox it. Fox Nation. Yeah. And you then know. you got CNN. They've got CNN Plus. Yeah. You know. I and I I was looking for every reason to subscribe to CNN Plus because you can get uh, a uh, what do you call it uh, uh, your uh, life hat a lifetime subscription for half price. Yeah. You know. So uh, I figured uh, well I'd be good but let's see what they got. It's just reruns of stuff they've already had on for the most part. You know, uh, you know at, at our age, I don't need a lifetime subscription. I'm not going to get the value out of it. No, me neither. Know? Me neither. Yeah. Lifetime yeah. subscription is about, <laughs> I don't know, 10 but, years if I'm lucky. You know, you know I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. I mean, people in, uh, on the male side of my family don't live that long. Mm. Yeah, my grandfather was 42. My father was 44. Mm -hmm. I figured, okay, 46, maybe 50 if I'm lucky. You know, I'm going to be 68. You yeah. know, so well. 10 years from now, 78. I don't know. I might be pushing it. Well, I took you out of my prayers every night. Yeah, yeah, because you're you you've gone a couple of years now without a discernible PSA. So I figure feel I don't have to pray for your health at this point. Well, uh, 2020. Uh, I think the uh, that's when the cancer came back, mm -hmm. and uh, I went through seven weeks of radiation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the funny thing is, you you mentioned this. My sister called me. Mm -hmm. uh, the topic of conversation was uh, her friend and neighbor uh, mm -hmm. is going to need prostate surgery. Mm -hmm. And so they said, "Well, what about proton therapy? What about this? What about that?" And I said, "You know, every cancer is different, and the oncologists sort of decide." what the best treatment plan is and i said but if you get a radical prostatectomy there's a lot of side effects mm -hmm. if i would have known now what i knew well, then what i know now for instance you took finasteride and you said you were going to get off of finasteride uh, in uh, fact i uh, i i wrote my uh, my <laughs> i wrote my uh, urologist the other day and i said i forgot to ask you but, you know, I've been on this finasteride. It's a drug, by the way. It's also known as Propecia, which uh, grows hair on your head. But Yeah. You know. Well, it, yeah. it did a good job. Yeah. I, but, remember when, I remember you when you had a full head of hair. I didn't have sideburns before. Yeah, down, have, down to yeah. your shoulders. Yeah, yeah right. Anyway, the, where, where, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, so, the Propecia. My, so I uh, write my urologist, and I said, I've been using this finasteride for 15 years because it's meant to shrink your prostate. OK, mm -hmm. said, I've been using it for 15 years constantly. And I said, do I really need to take it anymore after my procedures? And he wrote back and his first line was, well, considering that they fried your prostate. <laughs> um, I have a, a you didn't a, hear a that, Phil. Huh? Yeah, I heard fried the prostate. It fried the prostate. Not a technical term, he writes. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, of very course. Funny. He was just 
he was just breaking it down to something that the layman can understand. Consider they fried your prostate. He says, I suppose you could try not using it any longer. Yeah. 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 Now, th this is this is the deal. Uh, Why do we you, always talk about health here? Uh, you know, there, I'm trying to get a younger audience because I don't want you old geezers anymore. You know, uh, yeah. you know when you had the 18 to 35, yeah, it was a, it was a different time. Yeah, uh, I just don't think the 18 to 35s are coming back for you. You might as well go for the Geritol set. You know, and believe me, I got them. <laughs> yeah, well. Just to finish off our little topic, mm -hmm. the, the fact that you were using finasteride mm -hmm. shrank your prostate, mm -hmm. and you were able to get the seeds. Uh, and well, I, no, no, I, that, that that is not the reason I was able to get the seeds because I did not have an enlarged prostate. Oh, now I, I think it was probably less enlarged due because to of the finasteride. The finasteride, but that's not the reason. They didn't say, "Oh, hey, you know." They just said you look like you, you know, your prostate's the right size and everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, they told me that you had to be under sixty, whatever the size is, uh, the the metric thing, sixty, to be able to get the seeds. My prostate was one thirty five. I think you may have had bad information. Uh, Kaiser, bad uh, information. Well, well, you know they, what bubble? You know what bubbles calls Kaiser? Doctor oh yeah, assisted yeah. suicide, and and rightfully so. And rightfully so. Doesn't exactly. he use Kaiser? Huh? Does is he on Kaiser? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know he he knows from experience then, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, look, I'm not your doctors and I don't know how far your your stuff had progressed. I think if you were here in New York and you had my urologist, he would be a little more uh, uh, questionable about going that far as cutting it out. Well, you there's know? a chance that Kaiser, you know, uh, uh, isn't as far along. But I figured I was killing two birds with one stone mm -hmm. for 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 a couple of years, I hadn't been able to sleep more than an hour at a time because you'd get up. I'd get up ten times. Well, then a you, night. Sh you should have been taking the finasteride. That would have helped exactly, with that. and and also Flomax helps with that. Right. Well, that's. Uh, but I, I started taking the Cialis, and that helped. Yeah. But uh, if I would have taken the uh, finasteride, mm -hmm. I think that that might have changed the outcome. Because you know, I have. In, Everybody in interested, by the way, is in the, is in making yeah. feel well, good. It's a conversation. Well, you for know, all you guys listening who are in your uh, in your sixties and approaching your seventies, did you, you see how many people are listening? If if you live long enough, yeah, twenty five people, twenty six now. Oh, twenty six on your on your computer. Oh. Yeah, well, they like me better. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, yeah, you know, I, some of these topics mm -hmm. are things that. Uh, men well, I'm and, saying that to, to all you guys out there may say, ah, this is boring. Listen, if you live long enough, you're going to get prostate cancer. Well, Chances that, are very that's, good. That's what I was trying to say. You know, a lot of people are interested in this, yeah. but are don't want to bring it up in their discussions. And we're pretty open uh, to discussing uh, what happened. You know, a, a lot well, of people. I, 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 you know, if, if I could save a few lives through this program. It would be giving out the information that needs to get out there for for guys, and that is, it's shown. Uh, I see, read that you know, guys who die of prostate cancer, and then mm -hmm. I look at their history, and they didn't get PSA tests, they didn't do that kind of thing, so they never got it early. If you get this early enough, they it's take, curable. They can take care of it. It's curable, especially if you're older like me, because I'm in that age group where you're going to get it anyway. Well, I, yeah. I got it at 63, uh, and I don't know if Alan's got it. He's, uh, you know, his PSA is not that high. Mine mine was climbing. But, uh, you know. PSA, it, by it, the way, folks, in case you don't know, is uh, prostate-specific antigen. And oh, it's it, not that airline out of Oakland? It, yeah, it's a P PSA. <laughs> And and it's a it's a test that they use, and if it goes up, it looks like you might have a chance of prostate cancer. So, so they should check more thoroughly, or at least mm -hmm. keep an eye on that PSA for a while. You know? Yeah, uh, I I had a I had a friend, uh, actually a friend's brother. Uh, he got prostate cancer. He didn't do anything about it. He was probably a couple of years older than me. They buried him last year. Yeah, uh, because it gotten too far along. So this is a disease that, that you you can probably 
at least ward off for many years. All right. I, yeah. I, I heard about who was it? Patrick was telling me about an uncle of his who just died at 70, at 80. Yeah. Uh, with prostate cancer, and I said, didn't go to the doctor for PSA. So he said, no, in fact, he had prostate radiation or something 20 years ago, and they told him it might come back in 20 years. Yeah. So, you know, you worry about that when you get it like you did at 60. In my yeah. case, if it comes back in 20 years, I'm going to be long gone by that time. Uh, well, you, yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll make sure you get your money's worth, I'm sure. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so uh, what, uh, what's been going on this week? Nothing you've much has been going on this week. You yeah, know. you've yeah. been watching the news, uh, the uh, uh, fighters in, um, in Ukraine. The, the, well, speech, the speech that uh, Zelensky gave in front of the UN, mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, uh, zoomed into the UN, was, uh, was quite the speech. Yeah. Oh, he's, 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 very, he's very good at it, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but I, you know, I'm incensed to tell you the truth i'm sick and tired of watching people like anthony blinken uh i think his name is anthony yeah um, blinken and our and our president and other people other other people in other countries all going oh it's terrible what's going on in ukraine uh, we're gonna send them more marshmallows you know i mean it, here i think it's time that we look at the fact that we are signatories to the geneva convention and any time mm -hmm. a mass extermination of people takes place anywhere on the face of the earth, right. it's, it's our like job to enter into that fray and put mm -hmm. it to a, help put it to a halt. Yeah, uh, this is the 22nd century? Uh, the 20th, yeah. 21st century. It's 21st, oh, 2000, okay. Mm -hmm. 24, you know, this should not have occurred. Uh, this This shouldn't have been allowed. When he started... Uh, on the border of Ukraine and started amassing troops, that was the time to start to arm Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and, 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 and I, think, I think history will rue us for not having gone in there to help these people. Well, uh, uh, Biden said, well, if there's a slight incursion into uh, Ukraine, uh, you know, I don't know if that's going to elicit a, a response. Um, he, he's really sending the wrong message. And I so think it's time for us to go in there with all guns blazing and say, get the fuck out of here. You're, you're, you know, it's not like you came in, you shot off a few missiles here and there in order to, uh, in order to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, in order to in scare order, the you know, people, scare the people and maybe try and get them or whatever. This country is they're going, they're going in and they're doing things like raping women and, and just killing, killing people, people in, the street. in the street. And these are people who aren't armed, aren't trying to f resist or anything like that. And it's really quite terrible. It is now, I, just, I, I watch it every day on television. I see the whole thing unfolding itself. I, and, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm bothered by it. And I'm a kind of guy who always tries to keep from having a country go to war. And everybody goes, well, you know, we could create World War III. Bullshit. I yeah. say bullshit on that. Okay. But at this point, uh, I don't think he's going to use an atomic weapon. But the the I sent you. There's a software company that I uh, use for photography called Skylum, mm -hmm. and they're located in the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And I sent you a uh, link to their blog, and uh, they have about a hundred employees that contribute to this blog and talk about what it's like to be in Ukraine, mm -hmm. what their families are going through, what they're seeing. Uh, if you just uh, had clicked on the thing, I don't know if you uh, clicked on it because I, sent I clicked it on it. Yeah, I looked at it. Uh, so did you, did you read some of the stories? Some that of these them. I didn't have time, really. You know? But uh, amazing what they're going through. And, you know, that country has got a lot of similarities to other European countries. And, uh, you know, the, these are people just like us. And it, it's amazing what's these what's are being people up until um, up until about six weeks ago were living their daily lives, going right. to movies, uh, going out to the park, and taking a walk. Uh, and um, you know they were a, 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 a budding country. They've been a country that had gone through a lot of bad times and wars and so on. And now we're on the other side of it with a fairly decent. Uh, these people are, are leaving with the clothes on their back 
and basically a backpack of, of stuff. They don't know where they're going. Mm -hmm. Their families are being separated. I, I cannot believe this is happening yeah. in today's world. It makes me, I, I tend to get a little teary eyed over the whole thing and it, it bothers me and it bothers me all the more when I hear these people like Biden going, oh, we feel for those people. You know something, asshole? You were, Hearts and you, minds. You were 10 miles away from the border. Why didn't you slip over the border and go see Walensky? At least do that to show America's belief that these people should be their own country. Well, do you think that the Russians could attract the uh, uh, Air Force One? And uh, uh, I, do, I don't think that it would have caused them a problem, to tell you the truth. I, I think they could fly Air Force One in there and the Russians wouldn't dare shoot it down. Well, they're, you know? they're, they're capturing uh, thousands of uh, what they kilos of uh, of aid and humanitarian aid and food and, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, but what I'm saying is is that I don't think they would shoot down Air Force One and if our if our um, president is too chicken to do that the Pope is thinking of going to Poland I mean going to Ukraine yeah to go in there and talk to Walensky and to view what's going on so if the Pope is willing to do it I think maybe uh, Biden could do it you know? Well, it, it it would have raised his uh, his uh, numbers. That's that's for sure. You know. Yeah. Instead, he just looks like another waffling president. You know. Yeah. Uh, well, did you see him at that uh, conference that they? Uh, it was the celebrating the twelfth years of Obamacare, and uh, so Biden oh, and yeah. Obama yeah. were yeah. in the White House. They were all there. And Obama yeah. was, uh, uh, was was glad handing after, everybody after the speech. Everybody was coming over to Obama and shake, right. shaking hands with him. And Biden's off to the side going, hey, I'm here, too. Doesn't anybody <laughs> want to talk to me? Yeah, he, he, he looked he looked lost, you know, like, yeah, really. you know what's going on. Then he puts his hand on Obama's shoulder. Yeah, uh, he, did, he did not sniff the hair, but he put his hand on the on the shoulder yeah. Yeah. and Obama kind of ignored the fact that it was there. And, you know, continued, uh, continued to uh, have his conversations with uh, Nancy Pelosi and um, even Kamala Harris. Well, now he probably has COVID as a result of being with, right. uh, with, uh, with Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi. Well, Obama had COVID not too long ago, but Nancy Did Pelosi yeah. uh, is, uh, is also infected. I guess there's a big outbreak in D.C. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and you know, um, Governor Abbott from Texas is, is busing. Uh, a bunch of the people that are coming over the border, uh, the, the migrants that are coming over the border, he's busing them to Washington, D.C. And uh, D.C. Oh, that's, not that's hilarious. He's such a prick. That oh, guy. I love that guy. Oh, oh, you love him? <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, you know, he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, let's, hold, uh, let's, uh, let's have a telethon for him. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll raise money. Look at us. We're walking. Oh, no, not him. Hey, he's listen, wheel a wheelchair? The better yeah. to roll them in in front of a, a train, you know. Mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see. Is there anything uh, I guess else? that will demonetize me, folks, tonight. Yeah, yeah well, no. You, you, you just wanted him to take some public transportation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Uh, uh, and, you know, you were getting him uh, ready to load on. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Is there any other uh, interesting thing? Who's Clive Davis? I forgot who he Clive was. Clive Davis was a, um, a music producer and that oh. formerly the head of a started Arista Records and was the former head of Columbia till they fired him. For, ah, for, he's 90 today. Uh, good for him. Yeah. And um, basic music prick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for other headlines. What, what's this about um, people only pick up the phone 19 percent of the time now? Well, you know, because I, in, in twenty eighty percent of the time it's robocalls. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm I'm to the point if I don't recognize a number, I'm not going to answer the call anymore. I'm to the point where I'm thinking about just stopping everything. Yeah, you know, um, um, I'm fed up with things. Uh, I've got this whole thing going. I have a printer here that I bought. Yeah, and, and how I they entirely they rip you off entirely. What you kind of buy, print? you pay three hundred dollars for an HP printer. Oh, you bought the printer, yeah. Yeah, an eight, eight, three hundred dollar HP printer from Costco, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, when I get it home, it says, 
and I didn't realize it said this, but it says, sign up for HP Plus so you can use this printer. Wait a minute, why do I have to sign up for HP Plus so I can use the printer? You know, when I used to buy a printer, I bought it, plugged it in, it worked, right? Here's what they want to do, I, I, what I they want to do. Wait a minute, what you do understand? Oh, what, what's that all about, Phil? Why well, should I have to join their HP Plus in order to get my, my well, this, printer to work? This is my recommendation. You take the printer back to Costco and you tell them to sell this scam to somebody else. But there's a printer out i think it's either an epson or a brother i'm not sure where you add your yeah, own well, i've seen it. it's to both of them a brother yeah, and, and yeah you know like you don't add you, you don't add your own ink but you, well, add, you add their ink their, but their you don't have ink, to buy a cartridge but i'm sure other people will come out with bottles of that and you can use that too no but, but with, with, with you HP, don't have to with hp if you sign up the minute you sign up for hp plus yeah, a little switch turns in your in your software, your hardware, in your in your printer, that says yeah. that you can't uh, use that printer uh, uh, with anything else but HP cartridges. Now, okay, and they, the reason I joined the HP Plus was to begin with, I wanted to turn on the computer. But secondly, and this was the important part of it, uh, I wanted the there was a extended warranty, a one year extended warranty. But the minute you click and say, I want HP Plus, you can't use third parties anymore for your ink. So you got to buy their ink at like $100 a You know where they got that idea? Who, where? Well, Tesla. Tesla. With Tesla, if you do some sort of modification or you don't have some a certain plan, you can't get fast charging. They, uh, they turn features off. Uh, via the uh, the internet and downloads uh, to the car. Are you so sure of like, that? Because I mean, I find that I find that I find what HP is doing really criminal. Well, uh, criminal. you know, I know Rob Alfano has a Tesla, and uh, and I don't have one. I, I like my Toyota, but as far as um, mm -hmm. uh, as far as Tesla, I have read many stories. And I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of things on YouTube about mm -hmm. Tesla owners that, yeah. you know, maybe bought one that had uh, some damage and they fixed it. And Tesla didn't uh, allow the downloads and uh, took away a bunch of features, including fast charging, which well, I, I guess. i find out about that. Maybe somebody out there who's listening would, to this would know. would know. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, these are the kinds of things, mm -hmm. uh, draconian, that are happening uh, in the computer world. And so uh, now I'm just wondering if your HP printer, uh, are they sending you monthly or no, as I'm you not going to do that. You, you want to know why? Here's the other reason. You sign up yeah. for their instant ink. Yeah. And let's say you subscribe to it. They want $11.99 a month out of me as a subscription. And they'll yeah. just send me, they send me, they really send you a big ink thing. And that lasts for a long time. And then once that goes, they'll send you another one. But if at any point you stop the subscription or let's say your credit card doesn't go through. Yeah. You've got, a, bri you've, well, huh? you've got a brick sitting over here. You know, yeah. now there's something wrong with all of that. Okay. I bought for, you know, if I paid like $15 for the printer and then they wanted to sell me all this other stuff. Okay. You got a deal, but yeah. I paid $300 for that thing. It's the most expensive printer I've ever bought really. You know. Yeah, I, I think uh, I need another I need a pr actually the ink cartridges on the HP printer I'm using. Mm -hmm. Every time I use it, it says it's low on ink and I keep on going. OK, it's low on ink. Print the page. Yeah, print now the it's page. getting to the point where yeah. I could barely well, see it. This but, one uh, is bothering me every time, you know. Hey, Liz, yeah. you want to stick around? Sure. Sure. Well, let's have you stick around. I will admit some people here. And in maybe fact, you know uh, about Tesla. Here comes, here comes, here comes uh, uh, Alan, and here comes Kevin, and here comes uh, uh, our good friend Josh. And uh, there was somebody else that was waiting, but they went away. So what the hell? Anybody know? Anybody know this about Tesla that they render certain things inoperable if you don't do something? What was it you said that you had to do? Uh, if uh, if okay. you make some modifications, or let's say you bought a used one and uh, 
you didn't sign up for a certain plan. You can't use the fast charging, and they render a number of their services unavailable uh, should you uh, should you buy one and not go with their deal. Yeah. You well, know, um, uh, no, Brian would know about that, but yeah, yeah, he has. I'll, a I'll tell you about your uh, printer. Yeah, yeah. I told you a year and a half ago what to buy. What? Buy an Epson. Really? Eco tank. It, oh, I that's what I'm Epson. talking about. This is what I got. And is that the one you, Kevin? I just bought. Is that the one I was just talking about? Yeah, it's one of them. But yeah. these three. Thirty dollars. Mm. I bought three tanks of ink, and this is the f- second time I bought them in two and a half years. Wow! This lasts—they're eleven dollars. You can get three of them for thirty-four bucks if you go into Staples and show them that uh, you got uh, a better deal on Amazon. They'll match the price. I'm thinking, I'm, and I, I still got some I'm, left. What is the model of your printer so I can write it's it down? The, it's only one model. It's it's only one model. Eco no, they've got several. Oh, yeah? There's several. It's 4750, ET 4750. I think it's about 320, it was about 325, 350 bucks when I bought it. I saw a cheaper at Costco. It could, well, it might be a different brand. They it might got be a several. Different one, yeah. I wonder what Adorama is or uh, B&H. I, I'm but in the market for Why do you go to them? You, I They're hated, overly priced, Phil. Uh, I I'm get, you. No. Path. If you want to let me finish, please. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. have the floor. Yield. 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 I, I'm. I got the floor. I'm in the floor business. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what were you saying, Kevin? Go ahead, Kevin. I'm just saying, and then I'll finish. I bought the thing. It's the best thing I ever did because I hated buying cartridges because exactly what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I'd buy those HB cartridges and have them refilled, and they'd tell you they were empty and they weren't. And then they would tell you, I'm not going to go anymore. And now all that bullshit. When they came out with the Eco Tank, it was the best thing I ever did. Because, like I said, I bought two sets of these in, a, in the last two, I think it was about two, two years, maybe two years and a few months. But 30, 70 bucks in ink in two and a half years. Here's, though, here's what's amazing to me, is that HP sold me this. I bought this thing for about $300. All right. Yeah, it's a ripoff. Now, you don't even have to tell year, me about it. I heard year, about it. Years ago, <laughs> when I would pay $100 for a printer and they wanted to sell me their ink, I went, okay. You know, what they're doing, this thing it, it's, ra- it's the razor and the razor blades. Kevin, you know? what's thing, your model? ET4750. Okay. Yeah. They've got several EcoTank models now, I think. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're three ninety nine ninety five. I think uh, I paid three fifty dollars for it. Three fifty nine for it. Yeah, well, yeah. It was expensive at the time, and I waited for a deal. But that was used. I, I've printed reams and reams and reams and reams of paper on this thing, color, black and white, whatever. Wow. Just wow. you don't use ink, and then when you do, it's cheap. It's got a lot of five plus ratings too. Yeah, and, and number one pictures well. So it go get it, go get it from Adorama when you could get fifty dollars for fifty dollars less at Amazon. Yeah, well, yeah, I got it at uh, Staples because they matched the price with Amazon or whoever else had it. I think Best Buy had it for the same price, and I just bought it at Staples because they matched it. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, but but I, I'm I'm getting will take it back. I'm getting fed up and sick of stuff like that. You know? I hate I hate that uh, that pissed me off two years oh, ago. Oh, and then here comes the best part. I I figured I you know you, when you're when you're my age, what do you do with your day? I can go take a little walk, but once that oh, that's over, what can I do? What I can do is I can call HP and give them a ration of shit. <laughs> and I don't care how much time it takes. Yes, um, the bathtub. How you <laughs> doing, Alex? How you doing, bathtub? So I was I was listening to your rant, and I just want to let you know that um, we're looking to get a treadmill. We were looking at it for a few months, mm-hmm. and that you wouldn't believe the amount of treadmills that are out today. That if you don't download the app and sync your freaking life with it, the things won't even turn on. You yeah. have to go. You have to actively look for a treadmill that will just turn on when you hit a button. So this isn't just printers, man. You're you're speaking to like a whole generation of just like 
a movement of, oh, let's harvest everything about you. And you don't own a damn thing in your life. So, hey, I, the man is going to take us over. <laughs> but you know, I'll tell you something. You know something else? Down with the man. You, know, you got a Wi Fi uh, oven now. Where do you get a Wi Fi shitter? <laughs> well, I, I, I've told you about my Wi Fi oven, of course. That I just got a letter from it the other day. So it sends me email every now and then telling me how, yeah. how, how much I baked last month. Pretty soon you'll go take a dump and it'll weigh it for you. Yeah. Well, exactly. I, heard, uh, I heard that your oven told you to clean it. That it, it did. Was a really Tonight, pissed. wait a minute. Oh, I don't have my phone here. Damn it. I should have my phone here because if Jack has problems and my phone goes ringing in the bedroom, I'm so going to get hell from my don't wife. Don't think printers are the highest rated in the latest consumer reports for January 2022. What? Which one? I didn't even submit a, a, a rating. What? Epson's? But I think uh, well, the, the, the rating's 72, but the, the um, that's the highest rating they have for the, the Ecotech. Well, you got a good deal because the Ecotank at Adorama is four ninety nine, and it was screwed at Adorama. But you go to places all the time that you get screwed. You at. always go to places that cost too much money, Phil. Yep. Yeah. You know. Well, I, I like to help the economy. I see. Anyway, bathtub. Back to you. Are you there still? Oh, no. can you see me or no? no I can't oh. see you. Oh. You you turn on oh. your camera. Let me and try. We that. heard you're clean. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's funny. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm filling out a VA form as we speak, so I keep like closing the window. But it's interesting to know that you can't see me when I close the window. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Anyway, so 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 what were you saying about uh, uh, a, a treadmill? The treadmill. Right. Yeah. Well, oh, what I was going to say is that it's that it goes for a lot of things. And my wife bought what was it that uh, the the bike, uh, the uh, Peloton. Yeah, that's one of the ones that does it to you if you uh, end the service. No, if you end the service, it'll still let you use it. And it'll still tell you how far you've gone and things like that. But you can't go to all their trainers is what you can't uh, do with it. Yeah. There's a mirror that they were marketing that you stand in front of the mirror and it, and you exercised and it had uh, like a, uh, a person that would lead the exercise routine. Yeah, well, they, they're all they're all doing the Peloton model in one way or yeah. another, you know. But still, it's you know, it's it, but the thing that gets me too is the other thing that they that they do is uh, I have uh, Adobe, right? Because I use yeah. Adobe products to do this channel. I, I use yeah, I have a, the full suite. I, Adobe Adobe Premiere. I have Adobe uh, Audition. I have Adobe, uh, and I use quite a few of these things for the program. Well, I have to get, if you want one more than one thing, you got to go and subscribe to their whole suite, the whole thing. which is like 55 bucks a month. They went to this monthly thing where in the old days I could buy one. I could buy right. the product, you know, and maybe it and would it cost me $300 originally. And then every time I renewed it a year later, it would cost me another hundred or something, you know. But this this thing with the subscription, I mean, I'm a cash cow to them. I have been for the last ten years because I've yeah. needed that suite. You know. Yeah, I I've gone from Lightroom two all the way through Lightroom five, and then it became subscription only. So you could get Lightroom and Photoshop for ten bucks a month, but if you wanted any of the other programs, it's fifty bucks a month. I need Adobe Audition. I need Adobe Premiere. Uh, yeah. I need Lightroom. Because. I need Photoshop. You know, so I need I need more than just a handful. So mm -hmm. uh, they want to sell me the whole suite. So I've got programs I'll never ever use. Okay, it's kind of like cable. You know, how many channels are there, and how many do you ever watch? Yeah. Yeah, but Alex, you know, I was one of those guys who prided himself in in cutting the cord early. Mm-hmm. I don't have cable. I haven't had cable in years. Love baseball. I said, "Well, fuck it. If I guess, I guess if I got to watch local Phillies, I got to watch. I got to go to the local bar, because they got it all locked up with our Comcast in Philadelphia." Mm -hmm. But anyway, you know, if you really sat down and you added it up, all the subscription services, and you drop the trip, you drop the triple play, and you go, "Okay, I'm going to go internet only." So you, you you eliminate the phone and you eliminate the cable, but now you're doing internet. You're at 50, but then it moves up to 80. Mm -hmm. And then you, you add all the subscription. You might as well be paying 300 bucks like the guy next door who just goes, yeah, I got cable. 
Like, yeah. Well, I've been, I've been, I've been looking into cutting the cable, and I, I find that I will have a monthly savings if I go out and buy all these services individually, and I have to get, I have to keep part of my files here. I have to keep the, uh, the internet feed, okay, which will go from fifty dollars to one hundred and six dollars, because I'm not taking the rest of the services, and then I'm putting everything else in play there. And then subscribing to, uh, I think it's I'm going to go with Hulu Live, which are a bunch of live channels and local channels and things like that. Plus, I get the oh, the Disney bundle for. Did you look at uh, YouTube TV? Yes, but I, I, I but, but with with Hulu, I get the Disney bundle as part oh. of it. Okay. 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 But the point is, you're up there with the, with what you're paying now, right? No, actually, I'll be I'll save uh, seventy five dollars a month. Okay, okay. seventy five dollars a month, and I will uh, uh, I'll have a savings of about a thousand dollars a year. Uh, let me tell you on the internet thing, uh, I have Wave Astound. Uh, it's a competitor to the other ones, and they were charging me one hundred and six dollars a month. And I said, no, this is not this is not going to happen. I'm going to move. So all of a sudden, they put you through to retention. And for the last year, I've been paying sixty nine dollars. Well, I'm thinking of calling Fios first of all and yeah. saying, uh, listen, I want to find out. I'm thinking seriously of ending my services with you, except for the internet, uh, and cutting the cord and and doing it that way, as a lot of people are doing. What kind of deal can you give me to and keep the same exact services? I right. don't want anything to change. How much are you going to charge me uh, to, you know? Well, I'm, I'm saving about 40 bucks a month uh, just by making that phone call once a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I, I make the phone call. Uh, I have a phone call pretty soon to put into Sirius. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sirius, Sir, Sirius will do it. <laughs> Sirius will give it to you. If you, get, if you t call them enough times, eventually right. they'll get it down to like three dollars a year or something well, yeah I, i'm at five bucks a month but you know what pretty soon they're going to pay me to take it yeah you listen. Yeah, yeah well you know you could live without it couldn't you uh i like to hear fox uh when i'm in the car uh and i also um uh, like the uh some of the music channels the 60s uh, music channels the do you, classic you, you do know what they found out about listening to fox on the radio in your car it makes you retarded it meant not only makes you retarded that they, that uh, that goes without saying but it seems you get worse gas mileage really? can't get worse than i get <laughs> <laughs> anyway um so you know i mean whatever your car says putt 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 and trump's out on the golf course putting Oh, that was a good one. Keep them coming. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> That's why I said it was a good one. I don't get it. Could you explain that one to us? Sure. What's a, a putter? Putt, putt, putt. Uh, I think it was a golf uh, right. thing. Hey, we got, uh, we got uh, uh, what's his name back on the golf course? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods yeah. back on the golf course. You know? We have a new Supreme Court justice. Yeah. Well, not yet. Not yet. She can't become. No, she can't become Supreme Court justice. Be sworn until in. Breyer steps down. Till Breyer steps down, and that's not till June. So. What happens if Breyer decides he's not stepping down in June? Well, then we all jump him. <laughs> you know, think about it. You know, uh, he said he was going to retire, so they put the vote, and they said, "Okay, there she is. She's not sworn in." Then Breyer says, "You know what?" I think I got another couple of years in me. I, I think I'm going to hang around. Well, I think he does have another couple of years in him, and that's why he's quitting. Wouldn't you agree, yeah. Josh? That, you know, it, it's time for him to, to have a few years to himself and to enjoy life instead of having to go to the Supreme Court every day. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's probably what he's decided for his personal reasons. I mean, he's as far as I know, he's in, you know, okay hell. On the other hand, how many... All that kind of stuff. How many how many months a year do they actually work? Um, I don't know what it would equal in months, but they, you know they do a couple terms that are a couple months each, mm -hmm. and then in between they have a lot of, you know, like work for the upcoming uh, terms and stuff like that, and then they also each particular justice is sort of like a 
kind of the head of one of the nine circuit courts of appeals. Mm -hmm. You know, they are kind of at the top of the chain of that, kind of helping to run it, um, like administratively. So they uh, they have some duties there year round because you know the circuit courts sit you know all year round basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then the chief justice he has some other duties too. He's you know like. Uh, by constitutional and congressional mandate, he's the head of one or two other small things. I, you know, so I mean, they they have some other administrative type duties and stuff like that. You know, they I think they work all year basically. By the way, a lot of them write, you know, write yeah. a book or two, and a lot of them really go around and do a lot of uh, lecturing or um, not so much really lecturing, but just. You know, giving some talks, and they do a lot of Q and A stuff. They try to be active yeah. in civics education. Well, like Clarence Thomas in his free time yeah. helps his wife write tweets, doesn't he? I'm not sure if hey. he does or not. How about Trump getting back on Twitter now that uh, Elon Musk has uh, bought nine percent of Twitter? He didn't say he's putting Trump. No, back he's, on he Twitter. recommended that he be put back on, and Elon Musk is the largest shareholder. No, no and who, uh, who, thinking about yeah. buying twelve percent, well, which is the most he can buy. But but, but who who said he should be back on? <clears throat> uh, Elon Musk. I didn't see that. Yeah, I saw it. Not only that, uh, he said that um, uh, that Twitter is a de facto. Um, town hall and uh, should not uh, uh, be allowed to uh, curb free speech. Well, I disagree with him. I, I think Elon Musk is full of shit in this particular case. He should stick to renewable batteries. Um, the problem here is, is that, yes, it is, but it is a privately owned company and it should have a certain using, feel. Using the public internet. No, 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 no. No. See that that's no, the no, difference. No, it it no, may Phil, be a vehicle. Phil, no, no. You have a, you do not no. understand the internet what, belongs to the public. The internet belongs to the public and that includes Twitter. For whatever and, and there are a lot of people making money using the internet. And none they, of none yes, of, they are. And none of those people are paying for that. No, that's true. But the public right, the so, internet belongs to the public that and they are a town hall. For all intents and no, purposes, no. They can define it any way they want to. No, not if no, they're going to use. It's their let company. Their they internet. created it, Phil. Doesn't matter. It's a, it, it. Let them get their own internet. Mm -hmm. You know, the internet belongs to us. And so, so how can they restrict anybody from using it? To begin with, it is you. It is. It is free for you to use as long as you have a way of getting on to it. But if you mm -hmm. don't pay a cable company a certain amount of money every month, you're not going to get on to it. Oh yeah. Oh, you know when? Uh, wait a minute. You just, uh, you just, Brian. Oh, he just, he just, he just, just wash that aside. Uh, when Bathtub Brian had mentioned uh, cutting the cord, mm -hmm. uh, I was going to say, can't you get uh, using a VPN and, and your uh, and your uh, way of getting on the internet? Can't you get all those TV shows, no. movies? And, no. and stuff through, no. uh, what do they call that engine? That uh, What? As to, uh, you mean torrents? Torrents, yeah. Well, I mean, that's a whole different story. If you if you were suggesting here that people steal this stuff. No, I'm suggesting you get access. No, no. To, uh, no, you, are, you, you will literally be stealing that, in, that product. In other words, if you download a movie, you're stealing it. Now, there's public TV. You want to watch the news or something like that. You can't get it through a torrent? Uh, no. Well, you can, but they're not supposed to be serving it out oh. because it's their property. It's their programming. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Oh, no, I... I, I, I um... I guess no. You'd never take anything through a torrent, right? No, I I admit freely admit that I take a lot of TV shows through torrents because it's easier for me. Since although right. I'm doing it less and less because most of what I used to download is now available on Hulu and on HBO Plus and Paramount well, it, Plus. So and, if if you lived in another area, if you could use a VPN and say, "Oh, I'm in," you don't uh, need London. to use. You don't need to use a VPN. You don't need VPN. 
No, no. You, you can't. VPN uh, just puts you in another place. Right. VPN, v- VPN hides you. Is just what hides it does. you. Yeah. yeah. But let's say you're watching YouTube and or or uh, or ESPN or something, and that t- uh, that show or uh, uh, event. Uh, is is not allowed in San Francisco because they block it. A VPN I guess will it. allow you to probably pick it up if you say right. go, go get you're a, somewhere else. Go, it just go says get, you're in New York or you're in England. Right. Yeah. The yeah, virtual exactly. par- private network is what it is. Yes, but that that's what I'm saying is is if you use that, uh, you could pick up those shows that are blacked out because. You know, maybe it's a sporting event that's available for free mm-hmm. uh, in New York, but it's not available in San Francisco. Uh, uh, Alan's good. Alan, yep. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. Um, <clears throat> so when you when you want to buy, I, Alex is blind. That's why I'll tell you. Here's the way. Here's the way to get Phil to just shut up. Just when you want to say something, just say, "Phil, shut up," and then go oh, ahead okay. and say what I you like. That say. that doesn't work. So. The <laughs> VPN, <laughs> So some things on are, are blocked out mm-hmm. in this country for copyright reasons. So you take the VPN and point it to Canada or Mexico or something, mm-hmm. and then you can see it. The other thing is when you're going to travel to a foreign country, you put the VPN in that country, and you buy it a lot cheaper than flying from America or for the price in America. You buy what cheaper? Airfare. Airfare, right. Wow. Oh, uh, they, oh, oh they, if they, you they, buy they, if you buy your airfare using a VPN from another yeah, country. Yeah, last time I flew to Chicago five years ago, I turned the VPN on and put me in in like Tucson, Arizona, and the price of my ticket, business class, um, from San Francisco to Chicago and back, saved me two hundred and fifty dollars. I thought you fly stowage. <laughs> I should use that. Nobody's <laughs> laughing, Phil. And they don't Nobody know what stowage is. is. <laughs> well, now there are two of you that don't make people laugh around here. Anyway. If you only had a sense of humor, Alex. No, I don't. Yeah, really. I have no sense of You'd humor whatsoever. You'd see the funnier side of life. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I would see. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I guess I was spoiled by hanging out with comedians who were funny. Okay. <laughs> Hey, like now, you, you know, comedians... Boy, is this getting them, to be a hostile show tonight? Look, it's a little bit of... Comedians were very, you know, most a lot of comedians were outcasts, fat kids that had to be funny to keep from getting beat up. Now, uh, since uh, Will Smith slapped a comedian, now it's fair game on all these little fat, uh, you know, uh, uh, dweebs that became comedians... Uh, you know, they thought it was a safe place where they could uh, pick on people in the audience. And now all of a sudden you tell a joke that you don't like, you get up and you sock the guy, you know. Well, I think that's been, happened over the years anyway, Phil. Yeah. You know, that's why we have security guards in, in comedy clubs. It's for exactly that reason. Yeah. I've never seen anybody uh, get up and sock somebody. No, I, I don't, I don't know of any. synagogues, Phil. Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Alex said he he's never seen or or knew anybody that got socked. I heard that. Okay, let's get on to other people, Phil. Here yeah. we go. <laughs> Let me see here. Anybody else have something to say? Hi, Tony. Uh, how you doing? I was watching the Mets tonight. You're watching the Mets. Yeah. You know they were saying Gary Cohn saying that uh, you was mentioned in baseball tomorrow night that they, they have off because Apple TV's got the Met game so then I I wonder if they Oh yeah Apple TV game. on on uh, on Friday nights is now carrying oh. baseball. Yeah, so they they said yeah. we're off tomorrow night you tell the kids. Oh. Now how do I know I, that? Why do I care? I got to watch the game. Tomorrow. It's softball that's the big sport, right, Charlie? <laughs> yep. That's where all the money is. <laughs> if you really? can't pitch underhanded, you know good. Yep. You know what yeah. I found out tonight? I was reading online, I don't know if it's true. Yeah. Jada Pinkett dated Tupac, the wife. That's what they were saying. He was jealous of Tupac, the rapper. That whole marriage is probably crazy. <laughs> well, I think it's always been a weird marriage, but that's not that's not the point, you know. You still don't slug somebody because his no, wife I mean, is I going and went really out with Tupac. You know? I'm not assaulted on stage. I was listening to the cops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, Brian, uh, you uh, Brian with a Y, where, where where do you live again? You live in uh, in Portland, Seattle. I live in South 
I live in South Jersey. Alex. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Ah, oh boy, always. I have a bad memory these days, uh, but I'll, I That's won't okay. forget the next time. I used to. I I was the guy who used to send you jingles back in the day when your Sirius XM years. I, I, you know wait, 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 wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! It's funny you should mention that because I was listening to uh, some of those just yesterday. Is that, is that right? I was going through my computer looking for someone. I go, what is this? And I started playing it. Did you do the Great American Broadcast version? Great American Broadcast. We did Moon Rocks. I, there was I, a whole you, shitload of stuff. We yeah, sang in. yeah. You sent us a whole yeah. bunch of themes, and I have them here. Now, I, how about, I had a friend of mine. He was a cartoonist. He used to be a cartoonist for um, newspapers and stuff. And I asked him, I said, can you make an Alex Bennett cartoon with him on the radio with moon rocks and he made this perfect picture of you mm. and you had these like moon rocks on it and then we sent it to you I, I don't know if you still have it or not and w i should probably try to dig it up so i could show it to you but it was like it was you sitting on a microphone with these moon rocks and i don't know why why, why well i do i rocks. do remember getting a cartoon and i still have it around somewhere here Oh, it, but, it was, but, it was but, spot on. But I didn't, um, I didn't remember moon rocks in the picture. What's the yeah, significance? There was, there was something the about moon rocks. Phil, yeah. wait, wait, yeah. what's the significance of moon rocks? I don't, I don't know. No, we here, even had a jingle called Moon Rocks. Uh, he, yeah, and he used to play uh, here, it coming back from commercial. Here's the significance, Phil, since you don't know everything about my history. But I've often told the story about how when I was a kid. I was all into space travel and everything, and I really wanted to be an astronaut before there was any such thing as an astronaut. And the kids at school made fun of me and called me Moon Rocks. That's got to be it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And you, you probably heard me you tell the story. Moon Rocks straight from the moon. Moon Rocks, we'll see you real soon. Moon Rocks, uh, please stay tuned, Moon Rocks. Uh, and then it went on to a bit. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, I, I tune in here and there, like I'm I'm in and out. Uh, you ever talk to Albert at all? Like, yeah, he, uh, was, on uh, yeah. F uh, the Monday show oh, that Monday. we do, uh, he called this week and we had him on. Yeah, he oh, that's great. I, I, I'm sorry I missed that. I, did. I, I actually just, I, I've got to call him and do uh, an interview with him. Uh, I haven't done one in quite a while, uh, and uh, so when I do, I'll I'll. I don't know. How do I let you know? Just pay attention. That's all. Pay attention. Yeah. Sure. You know, I, I know when he, um, <clears throat> Fox News gave him a bunch of shit when he was uh, moonlighting with you, and he said, oh, go F yourself. And that, that was, well, that, that, that was, was one of the, thing. that was I mean, one of the nicest things anybody's ever done for me. Uh, to explain yeah. what happened is we were doing, I, you know, we had, uh, he, went and uh, found, got you know was going out looking for a radio job and found a radio job but he was also doing my the video thing we were doing that we had started because I had gotten fired at at uh, uh, Sirius <laughs> XM and we started doing this daily show and he started doing that with me and then later on in the day he would go over to Fox and produce I can't remember whose show I think it was Alan Combs' show yeah, and yeah. uh they finally said to him, listen, we hear you do this thing with Alex Bennett every day. Uh, you can't do that and work for Fox at the same time. Mm -hmm. And he told them to go fuck <laughs> themselves. Yeah, he went out on a limb for that. That was a good job, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, well, I think it, it was double-sided in a way in, for him to make a decision. He felt they didn't have, him, have the right to say, ask him to do that, okay? But that he, you know, he looked at one and the other, and he said, "I really don't like Fox. You know, I really don't like being here," and 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 he he quit, you know, and and uh, said goodbye to the job and stayed with me for quite a while. And then, of course, at the end of I think one, uh, I can't remember what year it was, two thousand four maybe. No, uh, it was later than that. No, two thousand four. He stopped doing the TV thing. So we stopped mm -hmm. doing the TV thing, and it became this. And this is now a TV thing again, you know, so what the hell? Well, I, I, I still think about him every now and again. I did want to ask him about that, well, I ask I'm, you about I'm that. I'm going to be talking to him in a couple of days, and I will I will mention mm -hmm. you to him so that, uh, you know. 
That's awesome. He's dude. living in Flo- he's living in Florida now because he hates himself. So yeah. <laughs> Do you still have that virtual studio uh, that green screen that you had on the Great American Broadcast? Well, no, well that was part of a, a part of a thing called a uh, TriCaster. Oh. And uh, it was uh, literally a a hardware piece of hardware it was made by a company that I was associated with called New Tech. And uh, we we had it in this studio, and the studio was capable. A TriCaster was capable of taking these pre-programmed sets and using them, and they were all virtual sets, but they looked pretty Very good. Very realistic. Very wow. realistic. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, so anyway, how you doing, Charlie? How's baseball? Doing pretty good. Or softball. The season. I should be around next week. Oh, okay. So let's all be. Happy that Charlie will be back, and and this will help keep him off the streets, right? Uh, and uh, by the way, Phil just earlier, uh, Charlie said some very nice things about your governor. <laughs> what was it you were saying, Phil, about his well, governor? Uh, you wanted to push his wheelchair in front of a train, but uh, I said that uh, what he was doing is he was giving a rides to. Uh, the uh, uh, immigrants that were coming over the border and he was bringing them up to Washington, D.C. by bus and letting them out there so that, uh, because I guess he's got a a lot of people. Have you heard of them doing this? uh... No. No. Charlie has not heard of this and he lives in Texas, okay? All right. Well, let me... uh... Oh, no, you're not going to... Well, it'll keep... Go ahead, Phil. Look it up. It keeps you busy. It's been on Fox It keeps you busy, and then we don't have to deal with you, okay? I I heard it. I saw it. Oh, did you? Okay. And then I changed the channel. Right. (laughs) It's just because Charlie doesn't get out in public that often, uh, you know, that he doesn't have... What channel did you see it on, Charlie? Uh, 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 Kevin? Yes. (laughs) <laughs> well, I mean, I it could getting, have been. A, I, was, I was getting the other see. side of the story, and well, I looked, and I said, "Oh yeah, they're saying it," and I flipped it right back. Well, it could have been on the Big Jugs Network. It was on my way to C-SPAN. It could have been on the Big Jugs Network, OAN. Yeah, I don't get that one. Oh, so. have you ever seen yeah, the women on either. OAN? I get Newsmax, and that's Whoa. way above C- Whoa. C-SPAN, so I don't go up that high. Yeah, I feel real good. Are there Big Jugs on OAN? Oh, a, unbelievable! You're very big. Hey, uh, it was on CNN, Texas to send buses, undocumented immigrants to U.S. Capitol if they're willing to go. Uh, Governor Greg Fox oh, had a whole show on it. <laughs> yeah. Half hour that, long show on it. And also CBS is covering it. Uh, CNN, uh, uh, something called the government executive, Axios. Um, okay, okay, that's enough. I Fox believe 7. you now. I believe you now, Phil. Washington Post, Phil, I believe you now. Tell them to shut Hill, up. Rolling Phil, Stone. shut up, Phil. <laughs> yeah, they all know how stupid he is. That's right. Yeah. He's worried about Beto. They were even in the polls last time. I oh, are they really? Yeah. Well, Beto's He's trying to outdo DeSantos. That's because Beto gets more than he does. Well, well Beto is, uh, is, uh, is running against him for governor, right? I know. Right. When's the governor's race? Is it this year? Yes. Oh, yeah. wow. November. Well, let's hope he... Wouldn't that be something? If Beto falls off the table that he jumps up on and ends up in a wheelchair, and then they wheel them both out in wheelchairs when they debate? Let me write that one down, Phil. It's yeah. very funny. Uh, I might have to yeah. use it sometime. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Let's say we put motors on them and ram them into each other. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, uh, you, know, I, you know why he's in a wheelchair, don't you? Uh, who Abbott? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Why? Because God got him. Oh. Uh, he bought carpet at Carpet One. <laughs> he what? He bought carpet at Carpet One. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're good for business. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, what else is going on that uh, I've been seeing? I mean, are all you people as as upset as I am about the fact that we're doing nothing about Ukraine except saying, oh, we're going to do another sh- sanction against Russia. What else can we possibly do? I think a fucking pussy. Well, I think Thoughts and prayers. what's left is depriving Putin of oxygen. I think that's the only one that's left. Oh, look, he's uh, his daughters uh, are being sanctioned now. Yeah. 
And yeah. he's got one daughter. She's 35 years old, and she's really hot. Well, they're, they're, they're Russian her. women. They're she's hot. They're hot. They're hot until they reach 70, and then a hair grows out of their lip, <laughs> and that's the last. They're be- good they're, teeth can pull it. plow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They got good teeth, and they can pull a plow. Yeah, but uh, no, Russian women are hot. Yeah, yeah. You know, even if, the, if you make them shave their underarm hair. Oh, give me a break. No, no, they're, they're very westernized. Really? They're well, very they're westernized. Well, his daughters are living in Monaco. Yeah. Nice place. place. Are they living in Monaco? Good place to hang out, right? Absolutely. Putin has a pe- place in Spain, doesn't he? He should be there. He would probably be safe. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if he ever goes down there. I don't hear about him going. I've had this discussion with friends of mine. Yeah. And largely it's Indian women. They're the most beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But no, but there's an age and they turn. Yeah. And that's not that's not Russians. It's not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. Russian women. Have you ever um, have you ever seen Tahitian women when they're young? They're they're just sexy, beautiful, gorgeous, whatever. Immediately upon turning 30, they suddenly bloat out and just, you know, wear moo-moos all the time. I think Holly Berry was uh, Tahitian. Was she? Really? She she sure looked good when she came out of the water in the James Bond movie. I think she still looks good, doesn't she? Oh, she looks great. Yeah. She's going to look better five days dead than we look right now, you know? (laughs) And I wouldn't give a crap if she had underarm hair or not. Well, <laughs> she could rub it in my nose all, all uh, and my face all that she wanted. It, it, yeah, when can, she walked out of the water in that James Bond movie, my tongue got hard. Well, you know something? You know, uh, how, how about Ursula Andress doing the same walk through the water yeah, in yeah. Dr. No? She was good. That's, what it was, an, it was that's good. what it was an homage to. I mean, Ursula Andress was, I mean, I saw it the other day. I was going through some old tapes and things like that that I was looking at, and there was uh, Ursula Andress coming out of the water, and I'm going, Diamonds are forever. God, was she that? gorgeous. James Bond movie. Yeah, she, is she st- I guess she's still alive, and I'll bet again she looks. she's going to look better five days dead than we look right now, you know? Tongue got hard. Huh? Tongue got hard. Tongue got hard. Nothing else don't, does. Don't mind him. I don't want to have to explain him to you, uh, Brian. Let's just. No, no. I, it's just visual. <laughs> okay. Tongue got hard. Tongue got hard. Yeah. Tongue. yeah. I, I, I might get in a bathtub in a few minutes. I don't... Yeah. If your tongue gets hard, something's wrong with the water. Hey. <laughs> If I get in a bathtub, let's see if your tongue gets scarred when I get in the bathtub. I don't think so. It yeah. seems to be my thing. I might do it. No. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, what else is happening? What else did I see was happening in the news? Uh, not a hell of a lot. We're uh, we're getting ready here in New York to start opening uh, dispensaries for marijuana. That'll be nice. <laughs> Uh, what as a kid they said don't do drugs and then now they have a website in new york how to smoke pot and how to roll it in (laughs) yeah it's almost a bizarre world remember i I heard a lot of these dispensaries charlie was trying to say something yes about uh, jackson just becoming being uh approved by the senate or whatever you call Mm -hmm. it yeah 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 Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, that what I heard, I heard somebody say about, well, this has been 300 years coming. And I'm going, no, it's been a lot less than that because I think for the first 200 years, black people never thought they had a chance of getting on the Supreme Court, so they didn't even uh, go for it, you know. Well, this is not the first black person or not the first woman, but the first black woman. First yeah. black woman, yeah, yeah. But we already have a Hispanic on there. Uh, and... Uh, uh, we also have a couple of very terminally white people, which is kind of interesting. Had some Jews. We, hey, Alex. Yeah. And I, yes, yes, Brian. We, we have a um, we have a governor, Phil Murphy. Yeah. He's he's pretty pretty good with the pot, and he's going all right. It's time. It's bullshit. Blah blah blah. And in the law, it was written by like February. 
think it was let's just say february 12th it was it was written in the law that the state senate had to have the date they it was a date that they had to have the date set for recreational use in other words a date certain that's come and gone and they still haven't had the date oh really Yes, it, it, we're so yeah. far beyond the point in which, by the law, they were supposed to have the date set. That I guess none of it matters. I don't There's know if you. I don't know if you have this in New Jersey, but in the current New York law, they're going to give out the first hundred licenses to m people who have been convicted of selling pot. Yeah, and spent yeah. time in jail. I. I've I've seen a lot of these pot places, and and some of them are are having financial issues, and they're not as profitable as people <clears throat> thought they would be. And uh, well, they may not be profitable because maybe they're not being run by people who know how to sell marijuana. Yes, Jeff. I I was going to invest in one of these companies. Oh really? See if I could make any money on this thing. I know. Nobody's making money yet. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody's making money. Why are they not making money? That's a good question. The growers are making money. They can charge whatever they want. No, the growers are having a problem because the, the growers are still illegal. Yeah, not but in Cal Massachusetts, yeah, you, not can, in California. you can buy. Are all, those, are all those Mendocino growers now, all those plantations, considered legal? Yeah, they're you got to get a license yeah right but 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 the thing is the growers but, are but the growers are saying that some of these licenses are being given to big corporations and not to them philip is morris it? just bought one a couple of weeks ago for something in mendocino county a, a big big grow area yeah mm -hmm. what what uh, what uh, uh, tony alex is this a stupid question can you now is it safe to grow pot plants now in your yacht like something i'm sure if you did it nobody would arrest you for it i should start growing i'm pot telling plants. on you nobody nobody will notice tony until it starts budding then the whole neighborhood will know mm, you used neighbor. to be able to buy a bag of pot i had a bunch of seeds and when i tell you like i had a jar yeah right full of seeds you can't get seeds in anything you buy now i tried planting oh about 25 of them last year and I go, oh yeah, cool dark place in my basement. They should be okay. Not one of them fucking budded. No, they yeah. need sunlight. I grew some years ago no, in a closet. I had them under the desk lamp with the pods and the shit. Yes, uh, what no. I, and I've grown pot. i grown plants before. What I'm saying is, is it? It's actually harder to get seeds now. Like you have to get seeds that. I yeah, but Back also, day, also, also, you it, can't have ten-year-old seeds. There used to be a thing called overgrow the government. It was, it was, a, it was an, it was an organized effort, and what it was was take all your seeds, and then you go into public parks and yes. you plant them everywhere. It was right. called overgrow the government, where the idea was let pot just grow everywhere, and and it, you know, and and just you know, basically fuck with the government. With, that didn't never really took off but i started saving seeds at that point and i got a shitload of them and they're all bad and they were all in a jar in a bag where there was no sunlight uh, contamination in my basement where there was climate control at a certain degree Th those seeds they, they didn't last it, it, it didn't work for trump either he thought he heard overthrow the government <laughs> yes you know, back in the day... Do you hear crickets? Uh, Anybody I, hear crickets? Yeah. When I was a kid, uh, you if you bought pot, usually you got shake, <laughs> seeds, and sticks. That, you know, that, nobody had buds. It was, it was steak. Uh, well, steak then you were buying the wrong pot, Phil. Uh, I, I bought it from you. <laughs> but it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to buy bud now with, with a seed in it. One seed, it, it, it's not happening. Well, because no. what happened was at a certain point out in California, they started coming out with the Mendocino seedless. And so seedless pot became quite the thing. Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing, I don't know how pot becomes pot if it doesn't grow from a seed, but basically a lot, of these, a lot of these are seedless. Yeah, watermelon you can get seedless now. You, how do you get more watermelon? How do you get more watermelons? I never could figure that out. Somebody will have to explain <laughs> that one to me. 
the chicken or the egg. Huh? But you're, you're completely right. But the thing is that uh, um, uh, they 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 have, are giving the first licenses out to people who have been marijuana sell, sellers, and these are people who know most about the product. You know, that's interesting. Yeah, they know how to get arrested. No, they but and yeah. also anybody in the state of New York who was ever busted and spent time in jail for marijuana sales, okay, uh, or even possession or whatever marijuana crime, uh, their uh, sentences are being commuted and uh, set aside. So that's another good part of this law, and the government is trying to pass it. They just passed it in. Uh, in the Congress, now it has to go to the Senate to legalize marijuana federally. And they were, are doing the same thing. They're saying anybody who's been convicted of marijuana in the past, that sentence is vacated. Okay? And uh, so, I mean, things are coming around. Things are shaping themselves up. And, and they're doing stuff retroactively to, to do away with the, the horrible injustice we did to some people. Yeah. Since since marijuana is so strong now, uh, and people smoke it, and and I guess a lot of people just zombie out. Th this is real a real waste of humanity. Why is it so important to have marijuana legalized if people are sitting around zoning out and becoming zombies? Because there are other people who drink it's and get drunk about. and turn their lives yeah. into the life of alcoholism. Uh, this one just makes you affable and sleepy. You know? Well, that, that's that's not a very productive way you to want smoke life. more often, Phil. No, it's not productive, but it's up to you whether you want to do it or not, too. I don't do marijuana before I do a show like this. Marjorie's always smoking her joint at night and always, always, always passes it over to me and says, here, you want some? Or as we say, when, yeah, you, Brian, when, you're, smoke, when you're smoking pot, you go, here. <laughs> Uh, uh, but but so, I I always say no because I have a show to do here. Yes, uh, Brian. Uh, who, Brian, were you going to say something? Sorry, it's a citizen panel thing. Um, Phil, why don't you reach down and grab a pair and admit what the fuck you're doing wrong? He doesn't like, have a pair like, anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're sitting there going, "Oh, why are people smoking pot?" Like, it, like alcohol is a fucking poison. Yeah, but I I don't drink alcohol to the point where I'm zombied out. I mean, you look at society, and you look at these people, and they're sitting around, Phil, zoned Phil, out. Phil, uh, Phil, you know, Phil, 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 quit being useless. You're zombied out. What are you yeah, talking really about? There are people that don't zombie out on. They just uh, look. The stuff is. There so are people. There now. are people that do it recreationally when they get home from work, and they just it get helps them to relax. I smoke a a, a bit of pot out of a uh, out of a vape every night before I go to sleep to put me to sleep. It does a very wow. nice job of it. Take you know, uh, I, I took a puff uh, after 35 years of not touching it. Mm -hmm. And I, I took a puff and it was hours before I could drive. Uh, you know, it was it, it was yeah. like a complete like, a, a, a waste of time. Here, here's the and thing. they told me yeah. that this stuff was the uh, mellow stuff. The in mm -hmm. in the well, it's because in, you haven't uh, done it in a long time. Phil. In Wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second. Let's let Bathtub wants to say something here. Yeah. So I believe that. I, I believe that. Like, I mean, my bro I, I met two people in my life. One's my brother, and another one was a friend of mine. <laughs> they take they take one hit of pot, and, right. and it, it's like they're tripping on acid. Yeah. These are people. These are people that should not be smoking fucking pot. Well, Phil and, did this in a police car. Yeah, and 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 you you're probably one of those people who I mean, besides the tolerance issue because you haven't done it in so long, but it, it, it's not your bag. No. But the thing is, is that pot is is so much more milder for most people than mm -hmm. it is for what you are. Uh, you're uh, giving let me ask for. you this though. Uh, Kevin, uh, or Brian rather, uh, because uh, this is how I, was something that bothers me a little bit. I don't mind it if people smoke pot. It's just when I'm walking down the street and they're smoking on a corner and then they blow it in my face. Now maybe I don't want to get high, but I'm going to get same high by, I'm, I'm going to get high, well same thing with cigarettes, but I'm in this case I'm going to get high by osmosis, you know? I'm, you know, and I don't, maybe I don't want to get high. 
So I think that we should have uh, people should have a certain kind of uh, respect respect for other no, people when they're smoking. I, I call bullshit. I call bullshit no. because people who people who don't smoke cigarettes, if you don't smoke cigarettes and you take a hit of a cigarette, no. you get a buzz. A cigarette. Mm -hmm. What's happening is when you when you're on the street, you're mm -hmm. getting secondhand smoke, regardless of what it is they're smoking. Right. Your complaint should not be that you're getting high off of someone, off of breathing in some fucking pot that someone's smoking on a street corner because you're not getting high. Bullshit. Your your complaint should be rightfully so. Mm -hmm. Secondhand smoke is harmful. Stick to that. Oh, I, I don't I believe hate. for a second anyone gets okay. contact high from just. Oh, I did. I, I disagree with you. I, I really? love to tell the story. I got you know who got me high once. The Grateful Dead got me high. How did they get me high? I was doing a radio program with them, and they started lighting up joints in the studio. Now I had already had a discussion with lawyers about what would happen if somebody lights a joint in my studio. And they mm -hmm. said, you don't have to tell them to stop, but you can't participate. Well, there was no way I couldn't participate by the end of this hour because I was so goddamn high from the smoke in that room that it was impossible to avoid it. So th that's when I first realized, yeah. yeah but, that, but Alex, that's not the same. And you're, believe me, at that time, I was happy to get high. But I didn't you're, want to get high at that, in that You're case. locked in the studio. You're hotboxing a room. It's not the same as smelling fucking pot, uh, like walking down the street. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. All, all, I'm saying, all I'm saying is I think we should be a little respectful of other people who don't want to get high and make sure that our smoke doesn't impinge upon yeah. their okay. space. Okay? I've been to events like a concert. And people are smoking pot behind you, in front of you, and you mm -hmm. and you're smelling it, and you know I, I just don't think it's fair. Yeah. I well, then don't go to the concert, fair. Phil. Oh, well, you know. Don't go to yeah, the concert. Phil's, they was like fucking Mozart. They don't you're, like you're, your brute. You you be, never. You are never going to get high at a concert smelling someone smoking no, but pot. But I hate the smell. <laughs> Any more? No, but any more than someone smoking a cigar. Well, that, I, mean, I like that. I do I like I, cigars. You need to. I I don't smoke cigars, but when people smoke cigars, I kind of like gravitate towards them, like well, weirdo, because I'm like, what, like that. I right, so, but I'm just saying, like, I, I'm just saying, don't overstate your fucking witness. That's all I'm saying to anyone here. Yeah. Like. Yeah. You okay? Close yourself in a studio and have a fuck have blunts burning one after another. You want to claim a contact high? I guess I believe you. Oh, but I like, got high. That was the good stuff wait, they were smoking. You're not smelling that shit. You know, walking down the street. And oh, going, by the way, they oh, were all blunt. They were this for, is an assault. Oh my for God. the fun of it. That's they not were how anything works. Yeah, but for That's the not how anything works. for the fun of it, they were all blowing at my face too. Let me add that to the, you know. They were in a circle because that's how the studio was arranged. Everybody was at a different little table in a circle, and they were all. It was like I was getting this tornado of pot. That is hot boxing. They yeah, but turn it around. I, they look, put the look, I, 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 I wasn't arguing it about it because That's I was called shotgunning. Oh, I shotgunning. I smoked okay. a lot of pot in those days, so I was very happy. And then I could lay claim like I have today that the Grateful Dead got me high. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, let me. Oh, hey, you know what we've done? We have run out of time, folks. Sorry. Oh, uh, well, it's been pretty good. This has been really good. Uh, and and I I want you back on a more regular basis bathtub you're really good you know you're really tell good albert i love him when you huh? see him what tell albert i love him when you see I him i will tell pass him that I along because he knows you because you and he were going back and forth about all this music and stuff that you did for us and i'll in the meantime before the next time you call I'll see if i can find some of that music and we can play it here okay i want to uh i want to thank phil for being here tonight and sticking around i appreciate mm -hmm. it okay and I also want to thank uh, Kevin for being here and uh, the, the lovely and attractive Alan. Uh, Josh, I know we didn't get very much to get to you, talk to you very much tonight, but uh, you know, you're always welcome to jump in whenever you want to. And you're always welcome here. 
Uh, bathtub, uh, 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 Brian, uh, you know, <laughs> we would like to see you here more often. Uh, uh, and of course, Tony Magno. What can I say about Tony? Absolutely nothing. Uh, and uh, Charlie Wallace, thank you for being here. And Jeff, thank you. Why don't all of you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go. That's our citizen panel. They're out of here for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. What a good crowd tonight. What a good show tonight. I've enjoyed it. been fun. Uh, we'll see you again uh well, let's see here. Uh, 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 Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. He'll be taking your calls to Gabnet Live on Skype. Okay. In the meantime, I will see you here again tomorrow. As always, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>